I think almost everything is literally gonna be a DIY and a budget-friendly video. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are gonna be doing a beauty maintenance vlog. I just wanna say this video is especially for you if you are a DIY girly, if you love just doing things yourself, if you love saving your coin. I love to pamper myself by myself. And you know, sometimes I will go out and I will do things for myself, but a lot of the times I do like staying home, staying in my comfort. I typically do this whole routine like every month, but sometimes depending on like season change, depending on how my body body is reacting. I will be doing this like every couple of times throughout the month. Usually I like to curate different things depending on the seasons. Right now since it's fall it's going to be a little bit more dry so I tend to grab more things that are hydrating, things that will nourish my skin. Just making sure that my skin is just hydrated throughout the season. There is one thing that I decided to add into my new routine which is kind of like a foot spa. But yeah without further ado I think the first thing I need to start on is my hands because because you guys, like I'm just so ready for it. So yeah, let's get into it. Now that I have everything set up, I'm gonna go in with this Instant Cuticle Remover by Sally Hansen, put it all over my thumbs, and use this tool to push down my cuticles gently. So as you're pushing down, you see all this gunk that's coming off of your nail. I'm just gonna get some paper to wipe off the excess. Then I'll use this tool to snip off any corners just to make sure that I get everything. And now I have a clean plate to work with. So I have two of these nail buffers. I feel like this black one is good to shape the nail but not to buff it out so let me go in with this orange one and lightly buff off the top of my nails to remove any shine make sure you guys don't go too hard on it because you don't want to damage your nails and for nail prep I have this from Savvy Land it's a two-step nail prep the first one is a dehydrator and the second one is a pH bond my first step is to use the nail hydrator and brush it all over my nail bed. And my second step is to go in with the pH bond to do the same thing. But what I love to do is actually put two coats of this and it just makes my press-ons last so much longer. Now this is the holy grail, you guys. It's the nail glue from Beauty Secrets. I have never found another nail glue that literally has my press-ons staying on for weeks, you guys. So I just put quite a bit on my nail bed, then wait until it gets a little bit tacky and press on my nails with a firm grip if there's any glue that kind of seeps out the side just get that napkin you had earlier and just wipe it down before it dries because once it dries it does get a little bit flaky I go ahead and repeat that on all my nails and then I'm gonna go in with an oil just to hydrate my cuticles and then of course a body butter this is from Kapari I love it it smells so sweet so good and then I just lotion up my hands because I feel like moisturized smooth hands really make your nails pop even more and that is the simple process that I do for my press-ons and I swear by this you guys they just come out looking so good every single time <music> Okay, I finished my nails. I'm about to do my toenails. Pause. This is literally my guilty pleasure. Fanta strawberry. So good. I like I can't I can't get enough. I drink this like almost every day. Oh shit, I just realized I need to water my plant. It is getting shriveled. We I got this beauty. Um, February of this year. Got me and my mom matching ones for Chinese New Year's. If y'all don't know, your homegirl is black and Vietnamese. Vietnamese people, we also celebrate Chinese New Year's, in other words, Lunar New Year's, which is what I should have said. But anyways, um, besides the point, I'm getting sidetracked. So right when I finished and I was, you know, filming the shot for you guys, I realized that this is not the press-ons that I was supposed to do. I was saving this set for something that I had planned in December, so yeah. I can't keep these on because if I keep them on, I'm gonna mess them up. I ended up taking them off. Like I said, these are like glued on your fingers. So it took me quite a bit of time. Did the entire process all over again, but with different press on nails. So let me show you guys. 
these bad boys are made by no other than yourself let me know down below if you guys want a tutorial these are super cute they are sweater weather wanted to go for like a gradient look insert a photo of what i was thinking about it goes from like white to like dark brown however i didn't have the correct color of brown i didn't want it to be like an orangey brown and then you jump over to like a cool tone brown like that's not very cute to me so I decided to just do my ring finger brown and the rest of the sets white I usually don't do white Frenchies but these were cute they were a vibe now it's my toes turn just an FYI I went too hard at the club so my toes are jacked I'm bruised up at my toes which is why I want to do this I want to cover up my toenails and you know what's going on in there but anyways let's get into our our toes okay I'm back with the voiceover so I'm just showing you guys everything that I'm gonna use for my toenails of course I will leave everything linked down below in the description box for you to check it out but girl this is what I'm working with I know jump scare I don't really like showing my toes on camera but for you guys I love you guys so I'm just gonna do it so yeah I think I just went a little too hard at the club so my toenails are really bruised probably because I left them a little bit too long so a little bit dangerous a little bit irresponsible on my part so that's why we really need to work on these but the process is really the same for my press-ons you know going in with that cuticle remover just dehydrating the nail using this buffer to really shape the nails I love a square shape that's the easiest shape for me and apparently that square shape also helps from ingrown nails so try to stay away from round shapes you guys if you can but yeah yeah, this process is very straightforward I'm not gonna be doing any press-ons because of course my nail is long enough so here I'm using Valentino's two-step nail prep I am dehydrating the nail and using the pH bond just like I did with my fingers and then I'm gonna go in with this really pretty brown this is the same brown that I'm using for my ring finger and I felt like that's just perfect for fall I usually just stick with white toenails but you know we had to switch it up a little bit and i just put my toes under the uv lamp twice just to make sure that everything is really just sealed in there and there's no cracks it's not going to be lifting it's not going to chip finally a matte top coat because i feel like that just matches with my press-ons a little bit more but yeah that's really the whole routine for my toenails and now they just look so scrumptious so much better you guys <laughs> all right y'all i finished with my toes by the way if you guys are wondering what lip combo i'm using both are from nyx so i'm using nyx butter gloss and then for the lip liner spl 802 brown literally one of my favorite combos so luscious okay i am setting you guys up here so that we can you know go through what we're gonna go through for the bathroom stuff what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna take a body shower so i'm not gonna wash my hair or my face because after this i actually do have to go hang out with my friend so yeah i did this makeup in the afternoon and i'm gonna put a good use to it but from the neck down we are gonna wash it give it a good scrub rinse all that and i'm actually gonna be exfoliating i'm sugar scrubbing grabbed some of the stuff that i'm going to be using both of these are really loved because i use them all the time this is tree hut velvet coffee shea sugar scrub guys this smells divine i'm literally almost out of it this is on its last life but that's okay i actually don't use my hand to scrub it onto my body because i feel like it just exfoliates my hand way too much so i like putting on you know just simple glove and this by itself is already an exfoliating glove so it's like double action oh, I get compliments like my skin is super soft my skin feels super good it gives that natural glow to it so that's what I'm gonna do got my little lounge piece here and my room's a mess but it's fine we'll clean it after we finish all our maintenance usually once a month during beauty maintenance you guys like my room's a mess this is what happens when you have a diy girly and you do everything in your bedroom in your bathroom now 
did rearrange my room a little bit, so I'm not sure where I put the wax though. These are some popsicles. You need baby powder. So this is the Burt's Bees baby powder or dusting powder. And then I always keep some witch hazel on hand. And this is not necessary, but I have bought um, numbing cream. You don't need this if you have a high tolerance. I don't. So I use this for my poom poom area. It's actually pretty expensive. It's like $25, $30 for this small container, which I use within two uses. You need to put on a pretty thick layer, like from the top all the way to the back. Like I literally use this twice and it's gone. And then the last thing I need is this. This is, you know, all the numbing cream. Like I told you, I really need them. And then this is what I use for my wax. I still have some leftover wax in here. I'm gonna warm it up and then use the leftover wax on my legs and then probably do a new batch for my poom poom area. And I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna take a minute for the wax to warm up. I should have done it before I got into the shower, which I was thinking about, but then I got so distracted when we were talking to each other. So this is like a really loved wax warmer, as you guys can see. And I'll just show you guys some of the leftover wax. Let me plug this in and then we'll have a chat. Make sure that you guys reuse your wax and I think that you can if you definitely take the precautions. Like if you're wondering why the hell do you have like thousands of popsicles? And this is my second box you guys. So I have so many. It's because literally you dip once swipe it on yourself and then throw it away. You don't reuse your sticks. Although how tempting it is, you don't reuse it. You don't reuse wax as in once it goes on your body, toss it. It has dead skin cells, it has bacteria, it has all that. So that's why I'm okay with reusing, not reusing, but reheating some of my leftover wax that's been in the container because it really hasn't touched anything else. But you guys, I felt like I haven't sat down and chat with you guys in a while. And I know some of you guys are our new subscribers, new supporters. I just wanted to take a moment just to thank you guys. Thank you all for coming here and supporting me and hang out with me, giving me great feedback. I love hearing from all of you guys. And some of you guys are also from my TikTok. Maybe some of you guys don't even know what my TikTok is. So I will just leave a quick video on either side of this so you guys can take a look at what I do. I love beauty. So that's kind of really my niche. Like I love lifestyle, vlogs, unboxing, makeup transitions all that good stuff that is something that you guys are interested in leave your girl a follow because i really do appreciate that community that i've built over there okay let me show you guys how the wax is looking Okay, I'm not gonna talk that much in this voiceover because I want you guys to enjoy it But basically I'm just going in with some witch hazel to wipe off the area that I'm working on Then I'm gonna go in with some baby powder to dry it off and just going straight into it with my wax and Yeah, basically that's all I'm doing here And I'll also show you guys the results and show you guys how much hair came off of this entire process Just a reminder make sure you keep your trash can handy because you're gonna have a lot of products to be throwing inside. I just came back from hanging out with my friend and I grabbed dinner with her. It was so good. We ate Shibuya. Didn't get to record the food, but basically we had hot pot. It was sort of a celebration for me. The celebration, we'll talk about it another time, but it fell through. So 
it wasn't really something to celebrate so we decided to switch spots a last minute at first we were going to a fancier spot but then i told her we gotta switch spots you know because the celebration is not going through so anyways we went to go get multi we chilled in the car i caught up with her it was so nice it was so good she's one of my best friends so finally i'm home now i'm full i'm happy i'm not grumpy anymore i have two more things that i want to do i want to give myself a foot spa a foot scrub exfoliate the bottom of my foot i feel like the ball of my foot is a little bit dry right now so i want to moisturize it and i haven't had a foot spa in a really long time probably in like four months the last time i got my toes done at a shop and after that i'm going to do a facial with you guys um i am adding one new thing which is dermaplaning so we'll see how that goes i definitely want to see how well you know my makeup application is going to work and how well skincare is going to really absorb in my skin um I was planning to do everything inside my room, but realizing that I have carpet, bringing in the water in here is not really ideal. So I think I'm gonna do everything inside my bathroom. The two things that I got, this one is a folding foot bath, and then this one is a foot care three pieces kit. Both of these I got off um, Amazon, I believe, you know, like the easiest place to go. Amazon is literally my go-to and I haven't used this before so we're gonna use this together. I will leave this and anything that I've mentioned or used in this video down below for any of you DIY girlies. This is how it comes out. This first one is a urea cream. This is salicylic acid, 2% and 40% is urea cream. This is supposed to relax and hydrate dry skin. It has tea tree oil, lavender, and then also coconut oil. I love how everything's pink as well. It literally goes with my theme. But this one is calming lavender and this is just a foot soak. This is how it looks like when you open the box. The first thing is instructions and then this is the foot spa. And the brand is Bainilai. Bainilai? Something like that. And this was already in it. Once you put your feet in, you can even use these as a massager. I just want to mention that don't feel the need that you have to do everything that I'm doing. Don't feel the need that you have to do it as frequently as I'm doing. I didn't realize like how much I neglect my feet. So that's why I decided this time around I want to incorporate it into my beauty maintenance. But the same goes for you. If your feet is just naturally like super smooth, super moist, super, you know, beautiful and there's no need there's no point but if you need a little bit more TLC on your feet that I think this is a really good option I filled it just below the second line Let me show you guys what I'm working with. My feet is super, super dry, so cracked. After 15 minutes of being in this foot soak, I am ready to scrape all of this off and I could not believe the amount of dead skin that came off of it. Like you guys, this is crazy. Other than this one dry spot, my feet feels and looks so much better after this. It's gonna get a little bit and put it all over my feet. And it's so moisturizing. My feet are super red. Feet done. It is 1028 already and it's kind of late. You know what? I already also have to get ready for bed. All this makeup has to go. I have to wrap up my hair. I have to do all that. So we are going to resume tomorrow. One thing I will do though before the facial tomorrow, I'm going to actually do a sleeping mask. I'll grab it to show you guys real quick. This sleeping mask is from Elemis. This is the Superfood Midnight Facial and it's just a nourishing sleeping cream. Basically what I like to do is after I wash off my face, I actually don't even hydrate my face. I don't put any lotion on. I just strictly stick to this sleeping cream. In the morning, you're supposed to, you know, wash off any residue. My skin just feels amazing in the morning. So that is what I'm going to do and then in the morning, we'll probably just do a morning facial. So anyways, I will catch you guys up tomorrow. Good night. Good morning guys. I just got back home. Let me tell you how my morning went.
I woke up kind of late. As you guys know, I was filming and then it took me a really long time to get ready for bed. The girl had to wash off everything. I needed to prepare my face for today's facials. I did my sleeping mask, showered my body. By the time I got into bed, I was just super overwhelmed. <laughs> I don't know why. I think, I guess just turning off yourself after you know content creating and you guys like it took me like probably two hours rolling around in bed to fall asleep so i had a late start this morning just woke up and needed to go get my starbucks and i've been really trying hard to eat in the morning usually just stick with coffee and i know it's so bad it creates so much acid inside my stomach and that's the last thing that i need right now that's why i'm like trying to train myself to eat in the morning which is super hard for those of you that don't eat breakfast y'all know what i mean like being hungry in the morning is like literally a blessing. The days that I am hungry, the days that I do have an appetite, I definitely am gonna go grab something. But I wanted to show you guys what I got and what I'm eating today. Of course, I have my Starbucks. And you guys, Starbucks came out with a new cup. So cute. I wonder if this is like just their Christmas cup. I usually get a ice triple espresso. I get it in a venti cup. I add vanilla sweet cold foam and two pumps of white mocha and a light splash of soy milk. And then I got pizza for basically breakfast, lunch. There is a mod right next to my Starbucks. So this is how my mod looks like. I get extra spicy marinara sauce. Then I got mushrooms, whole garlics, tomatoes. Um, for me, I only got chicken, a little bit of bacon, a little bit of spicy sausage. It's a pretty bare pizza for me. Usually I get a lot more toppings, a lot more greens. But because a lot of their ingredients didn't look fresh, I didn't want to like risk it at all. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this right now. After I finish eating, I will do um, the facial with you guys. This is by the brand Fresh, and this is a soy face cleanser. It is a really, really gentle cleanser. We came here from very gentle with your skin in this process don't use too much pressure um, even if you feel like you want to you know be thorough with it let the product do its job now that my face is fresh and clean I'm gonna go in with my face steamer and I like to be under here for about 10 minutes does just open up your pores with the heat it is a heated steamer and it gets your skin ready for a detox mask this is the next product I want to show you this is the bamboo pore refining mask so one this is gonna detox your face and two it's gonna help with your pores this mask is also very gentle on the skin so I really enjoy this mask a lot My mask is on now. This is a very quick mask, so you leave it on only for a couple of minutes. Now we have our face cleanse, detox, we have the facial steamer going. I'm gonna go and try this new thing. I've seen it all over TikTok. This is basically just pore strips. You add a thin layer onto your nose or any other affected areas. You cover it with paper and then you leave it on for five to ten minutes so it can get dry and then you just peel it away so just like any other typical mask hopefully this works I've heard mixed reviews about this I'm gonna use this very small fine flat brush and I'm gonna use this as my finger because I have nails I don't want any of this to get stuck so this is kind of like the consistency it actually smells really good, and I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing that they're putting perfume in here. It smells like one of the perfumes that my mom wears. Oh my god. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna get too close to my piercings. It's just not ideal right now. 
And I've seen people take this all the way up to their foreheads, you know, to their cheekbones. It's like whatever you want to do. This is my first time trying this product. So I'm just going to leave it in, you know, the areas that I think have the most blackheads. When you're trying out a new product, you definitely want to make sure that you don't have an allergic reaction to it. I've seen horror stories of it. But okay, so it comes with a lot of papers. Okay. And you guys, I am so sorry for the sun. Hopefully the sun comes down just a little bit and like this whole room is going to light up. So bear with me for now. But I'm literally just going to wait 15 minutes and then I will check back in with you guys. So okay, you guys, it has been at least 15 minutes. I think it's been like 25 minutes. I'm not going to lie. And everything is dry. So I'm ready to take this off. Okay, I'm not going to lie. This hurts a little bit. <laughs> It's probably because I do have peach fuzz on my face and I think it's pulling the skin as well. This is what the first one looks like. And let's try this one. I don't know if you guys can see that. Like half of it is blackheads and the other half I think is my peach fuzz. Okay, my skin is very red. I'm gonna go wash my skin off and then do the steamer once again. Y'all, I stayed under that steamer for another 15 minutes. It finally went away, that little redness. Like maybe this side just a little bit more. You can kind of see where the imprint is. Give yourself an appropriate amount of time for your skin to cool down from the redness. Like don't do this right before you're about to leave because it's gonna look like a mess. It's my first time dermaplaning. I have two dermaplaning tools here. The first one is a Hydro Silk wand. So this one I picked up from Target I think a couple of months ago and I completely forgot about it. And then this one I picked up from Amazon for this video. I'm gonna actually try this one because I know that this is easily attainable by everyone. Pull this out. This is what you're left with. This is where the razors are. The one looks like this, rose gold. You hear a click. And what the dermatologist taught me was that you don't do it over your acne skins, like any breakouts that you have, don't go over it. It will spread your breakout. If you're gonna do any exfoliation, make sure you do it before and not after. For the entire week, stay away from exfoliation, stay away from direct sunlight. And then the final tip is don't do this very often. Don't be doing this weekly. That's why I think dermaplaning deserves to be in its spot at monthly beauty maintenance and not weekly. Stay away from retinol retinoids that type of stuff it would just leave your skin a little bit more irritated so I would just recommend within the first week just stick with gentle stuff it is a dry dermaplaning which is what the tool is saying and I've seen a lot of people do that but I have dry skin already and I want to make sure that the blade moves through smoothly so I am actually gonna do an oil dermaplaning I have three different types of oil here this one I use for my gua sha from Sachu and then I have a number seven facial oil that I use often and lastly I have this honey grail pharmacy oil and I think I'm gonna use this one because it's an ultra hydrating face oil so I'm gonna add a couple of drops of the serum kind of rub it in this is how it looks like when it's nice and moist and you can see I have fuzz right there you want to keep a firm hold on your skin as you're going down I grab some of these pads to show you what's coming off my face. You guys, this is oil mixed with dead skin mixed with hair. Right now, this is actually very calming. The blade is sliding amazing. I'm not getting caught up in my skin. It honestly feels so good. It doesn't feel like I'm doing anything to my skin. It just feels like I'm moving something along my skin. So I think that's a really good sign. I don't think I'm going to be doing anything to my forehead just because I have a little bit of blemishes. 
and I don't want it to spread. So let me treat this area. It's the season change and it's causing me to break out around there. So I'm just gonna leave right here because my skin is very clear already down there. I wonder if you guys can tell the difference. This side is dermaplane and you can see my peach fuzz is literally gone and this side has not. I don't know why I didn't do this sooner. I am literally gonna give you guys an update afterwards too to see how my skin holds up. If my skin is still clear, all the pros and cons of this entire you know procedure process whatever so you guys can know the real tea from someone with a dry and sensitive skin that has never dermaplaned or shaved in their face ever in their entire life i'm gonna go ahead and just finish the rest of my face and then i will catch you guys back when this i'm done. my skin after I have a little bit of redness right here and I feel like it's my opposite hand. I may have put a little bit too much pressure on this side, but so far the skin is feeling great. I think this face oil is so good. You guys need to grab it because even after I'm washing my face, my face feels super plump, super moisturized. So I absolutely love this. Again, this is the Honey Grill Pharmacy Ultra Hydrating Face Oil. So now we are re-nourishing our skin, hydrating our skin because we did a lot. We did blackhead removal, we did dermaplaning, we have stripped our face of its natural barriers and the dirt. So right now the pores are open. It's ready to be absorbed with all these nutrients. I have five things that I'm gonna use today but of course whatever you guys have at home feel free to use you know whatever you have all of these things are things that I already have things that I'm already using okay so these are all of it I always like to start off with a serum of some sort I know a lot of people when they do skincare they go from I think thinnest to thickest um, I don't use that method. I use basically the Korean nine-step skincare routine method. They always say put a serum or hyaluronic acid. Oh my gosh. They always say put a serum or hyaluronic acid on the bottom and then your final step should be a hydrating moisturizer. Anyways, the first thing that I always do is put some 100% hyaluronic acid on here. One thing I will note though, here they go again. Hyaluronic acid works the best when you already have hydrated skin. In other words, you already have water on your skin so your face is not dry. For example, if you're finished washing your face, instead of wiping it off with you know, a face towel or whatnot. You actually just don't do anything. And then you go straight in with the hyaluronic acid because it actually activates when you have H2O on your skin. Since I already have my face steamer here, what I'm gonna do is steam up my face a little bit. And as it's steaming up, I'm gonna apply the hyaluronic acid with it. I'm gonna go in with a couple of drops, probably like three drops. And you want to pat this into your skin. Give it a good firm press. Always use your ring finger when you're going around your eye area because you don't want to apply too much pressure on the thinnest layer of your skin. And of course, I always bring all of my products down my neck and my chest area and also my hands. I'm gonna turn off my steamer so that we can focus on the other products. The next one I'm gonna go in with is Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. Just a couple of drops. This is a very thick product, so it will really help, you know, rebalance that barrier that you have and lock in extra hydration that you put in from the hyaluronic acid. Then we're going to go in with our spot difference blemish treatment. So I do want to do only a small amount on this because I don't want it to transfer or move into any other places. Especially when you're using a dropper, make sure that it does not touch your skin because you don't want it to transfer bacteria. So I just did one tiny drop. So I really do want to just focus this product on my forehead. I can literally feel where the bumps are. And then maybe a little bit on my chin area. I don't have any blemishes anywhere else. So as I'm waiting for my face to dry and everything to kind of like absorb a little bit more, 
I'm gonna work on my neck. So this is the Strivectin Neck Cream, and it's supposed to tighten your neck, help with wrinkles and things like that. So I just like taking a little bit, you know, a little bit extra for my neck because I also like using it for my hands as well. If you guys don't know what your neck and your hands age a lot faster than your face. I just want to get a head start on this and really combat that. And I used to work in the tech industry and as you guys know, the term tech neck because we're just on the computer, you know, looking down and you get these really noticeable lines on your neck, which I also have too and yeah, so I start off by moisturizing my hands with it. I really like it. It is a very thick moisturizer. As I'm rubbing it in, I'm just pushing it upwards towards my chin. Perfect. So that is it for my neck. I'm not going to put any other moisturizer. That is really just the moisturizer for my neck and my hands. The final product, and I love doing this final step with my cold facial roller with a really good moisturizer. This one is Tarte Drink of H2O Moisturizer. A pretty thin product, if I'm correct. This feels like a water-based moisturizer. I just use my facial roller to actually help me you know push in the product and kind of just lock everything in it comes straight from the fridge so as you're doing this this also helps with any puffiness and whatnot but these are how the facial rollers look like and they're so so cute i love them it feels so good on the skin you guys and I literally just sit here for a couple minutes just doing this, just rolling it up, rolling it out. And there you have it, you guys. I'm so proud of how my skin looks. I'm so proud of everything that we've accomplished together. So let me close out here. Thank you guys so much for doing this with me, for hanging out with me. I hope I inspired some of you guys to take that time for yourself, regain some confidence, and maybe just to relieve some stress that you have going on. You absolutely deserve this time. I'm just glad to be a part of that experience for you. If you like what you saw today, please subscribe and join the family i would love to have you guys here and come and hang out with us and until next week i will see you guys later bye